determining the marketing communication budget this is the topic we are going to discuss today uh, along with the understanding how to establish the budget we will also be discussing about how to distribute the advertising budget and we will also be trying to understand the relationship between marketing communication budget and uh, sales probably um, uh, establishing the marketing communication budget is going to be one of the most important communication decisions you are going to take marketing communication budget is uh, ve uh, very important for, for one of the following reasons neither you underspend the budget nor you overspend it if you are going to spend less probably your communication uh, campaign is going to fail but if you are going to spend more then you are wasting the limited budget you already have on offer so it is important for you to find out the right balance of when and how to spend the budget at the same time we cannot ignore the fact that it is not about how much you have sent on the uh, campaign but how well you have spent it so let us consider the first point for the session today that is uh, establishing the budget so how are we going to do that there are four ways to establish the budget percentage of sales method no and meet competition affordability objectives and tasks so percentage of sales method helps you to arrive at a certain budget as a conclusion by comparing the last year sales and the forecasted sales for the next year this is a very simple method and it is uh, uh, very often used uh, in the agencies this particular mess, uh, method says that if the sales increases the budget increases if the sales decreases the budget to increase uh, decreases sometimes it works in the opposite direction as well of uh, what we may actually need so uh, applying the percentage of sales method leads many firms to reduce uh, marketing and communications budget to an economic downturn if you are shrewd enough then you must uh, consider increasing your budget when your sales is going down so this is one method by which you can establish uh, the budget so the second method is know and meet your competition so this method uh, helps us to understand that it is uh, important for you to meet what your competitor has spent on his communication campaign it says that you must be able to at least uh, sp spend an approximate amount which equals uh, to that of the competitor for example if your competitor is spending around 22 22 percentage of uh, his budget on communication then you should also be able to match it or even better that number research uh, suggests that a brand that will invest heavily on advertising sends a message that it is of higher quality compared uh, to the competitors spending more than the competitors helps uh, the brand establish higher quality perception so uh, if you want to remain competitive then you may have to spend at least as much as your competitors then comes the method where the affordability uh, comes in picture so this particular method uh, helps us to ask the question how much can you afford after all the expenses are budgeted this method puts uh, marketing communication to a position of comparative insignificance with respect to other investments that uh, the company has made uh, internally and uh, why so because the budget in this method is set by the senior executives of the company which uh, they feel comfortable with uh, after all their investments are uh, made and here uh, as a person who designs uh, communication campaign we might be facing a task of convincing the uh, uh, senior executives who decides the budget based on how much we can afford 
so convincing comes into picture and it plays a major role in uh, establishing the budget using this uh, method so how are we going to convince this particular uh, art of convincing the senior executives will be discussed in the next video in detail so the fourth and the final method is objectives and task in this method the cost to achieve the communication objective is decided first that is you set the communication objective first then identify the various tasks which are required to uh, meet the these objectives once you are able to set objectives and identify those tasks required to execute it now we will know how much it will cost for you to uh, initiate that task which will help you reach your objectives once you are able to understand how much uh, it will cost you then you will be able to arrive at the conclusion that this is the budget i need to initiate this campaign once you are able to establish your budget now it is time to distribute it and how are you going to do that so consider this picture so this picture has an image here so you can consider that as a time frame so there are three uh, schedules available here which will help you to uh, and how to distribute the budget so continuous schedule is the is a process uh, where uh, all these non seasonal products uh, advertisements are in, involved products such as apparels uh, which doesn't have any season attached to it for making a sale this particular products moves on throughout the year so the communication campaign or the advertisement you are making will also move on throughout the year but if you consider the example of uh, flighting schedule where uh, seasonal products such as raincoat winter jacket air conditioners are involved here uh, these products get a move on only as season so if you see there will be a irregular pattern or sometimes there will not be any communication made at all because it is purely seasonal in nature so the third uh, parameter to be considered is pulsing schedule which is a combination of both uh, flighting schedule as well as uh, continuous schedule uh, the products involved here will have a specific spike in sale during specific uh, uh, seasons uh, the products such as school bags uh, you can consider at the same time this particular school bag uh, will also have a movement in purchase in the rest of the year as well so that is why we say it is a combination of both flighting schedule and continuous schedule so if you are able to understand these three aspects then you might be able to uh, uh, decide on how you must uh, distribute your budget so after establishing the budget and understanding how to distribute the budget this leads us to the third topic which is uh, the relationship between marketing communication budget and sales so if you are a person uh, who had this uh, idea of uh, the more i spend on communication expenditure the more the sales i will have this is a wrong uh, assumption and it is uh, purely unrealistic in nature because there is no direct relationship between uh, the expenditure and the sales the sales performance of a particular product is a result of consequence of multiple factors such as uh, geographical conditions political climate competitors involvement uh, pricing of the product quality of the product and uh, so on so the sales is not dependent only on how much uh, is spent on the marketing communication the objective of the marketing communication campaign however influence the effect on sales but in reality you cannot see its effect on sales immediately why let us move on to the next graph if you uh, see here the bottom curve here in this graph you see an indication of very minimal early effect of uh, marketing communications uh, expenditure on sales it is on a rise at this stage the consumers are exposed to your communication multiple number of uh, times at this stage they are exposed to multiple uh, 
number of times which uh, helps in creating an awareness about your brand and the product in them this takes uh, them to a point of uh, threshold the threshold effects uh, happens here and uh, this is the point where your communication actually begins to affect uh, the consumer's response in a positive uh, direction this uh, threshold point uh, however varies depending on the type of product being sold sometimes the threshold uh, uh, point could be here or uh, it could be here so after this point you can see the incremental effects of every rupee you spent on the sales of product uh, the every rupee which was uh, spent by the consumer uh, on the sale of a particular uh, product so this is the exact rise which uh, is very important for us to understand then comes the point of uh, diminishing returns where the promotional campaign has actually saturated the market and your advertisement will have only minimum effect on sales and hence the carrier effects uh, uh, comes into picture from here on uh, the consumer no more needs uh, any awareness about your brand but uh, he remembers your message and it is uh, it gets carried over uh, to the time when the product uh, is uh, actually needed and when when the consumer is actually considering the purchase so in this uh, phase the repetition of an advertisement will help uh, the consumer uh, having a brand recall at the point of purchase however since the promotion uh, campaign has actually saturated if you still continue to advertise then wear out effects will happen which means that your advertisement has become old and consumer no longer pay attention to to your advertisement but because of the carrier effects uh, which is still active the consumer will still be able to recognize your brand for the for for some time uh, before their memories of your brand fade and then the dk effects uh, happen and after this stage you have to start it all over again so i think you might have understood that uh, the communication expenditure doesn't have any direct impact on sale because uh, there are a lot of other uh, aspects uh, which actually impacts the sales sales as well so that concludes our topic uh, establishing the communication budget in the next video we'll be talking about uh, how to convince the senior executives on the marketing communications budget